While pneumothorax is common, tension pneumothorax is rarer but more serious. The main differentiating feature is that tension pneumothorax has instability of the vital signs. There are other signs and symptoms the patient will have and they are very important to know. The sooner you diagnose the patient, the sooner you start the treatment and the better the outcome. To remember the symptoms of tension pneumothorax, remember P thorax. The P for pleuritic pain, and this is basically chest pain that increases when the patient takes deep breaths. Tracheal deviation, and this is one of the more common signs. Because tension pneumothorax causes expansion of one side of the lungs, this will push the, mid, the midline, the trachea, and the mediastinum to the other side. In the x-ray, this shows as tracheal deviation. And by the way, because the mediastinal is pushed, it also pushes the heart and the great vessels. And this is why we have decreased blood pressure or increased heart rate. Hyperresonance, and this makes sense because you have more air in the pleural cavity. The onset is often sudden. There is decreased breath sound in one side. Abset fremitus, and the X-ray showing collapse of the contralateral lung. These are the signs of tension pneumothorax, and they are very important. Use the link below to get access to the full mnemonics course. In this course, we will discuss all the important high yield topics that we see everywhere in the clinical practice. These topics are especially important for healthcare providers. We cover topics like the treatment of acute heart failure, tension pneumothorax, and other.